This uh, crankshaft is the latest in the ASBO series of Royal Enfield 500 cranks. Um, this is going to be for ASBO 32, which has got a forged steel conrod with a roller big end in it. And I've lightened the flywheels and rebalanced them as usual. And I've got it set up now so that I can check for run out. And we'll have a look at that now. The um, clock on the left, the uh, divisions are in thousandths of an inch. Uh, one division to the next is 5 thou and similarly spaced this one's metric and one revolution of the face is a millimeter so from one number to the next is 0 0.1 of a millimeter or 4 thou so basically the movements of the needles are more or less equal in thou's but we'll have a look at it now anyway so first of all we can see this clock now I've got that, it's on the number 5 actually, I haven't turned the dial to 0. I'm going to turn the crank and have a look. We are showing under two thousandths of an inch there, in fact about one and a half thou. Two thou, well, it's not even hitting two thou, if we said two thou maximum, keep that in mind and look at this clock. Now as I say, from one number we're between the uh, 60 and the 70 on the face of this one so 60 to 70 is 0.1 of a millimeter or four thousandths of an inch so we can see that we're not even getting half way between the two numbers if we were halfway that would be two thousandths of an inch again so we've got no more than two thousandths of an inch on either one in fact we've got less and as a bonus, if we look at the clocks moving together, we can see that the needles rise and fall at the same time. So basically, when this crank is inside the engine, the 2,000 max one side cancels out the 2,000 max the other. So in real terms, we'll have no run out on this crank. And I'll just move this dial gauge closer to the end. Bear in mind we had under two thousandths of an inch there. And try it there. There's actually less, as you'd expect. So, probably by the time we get right to the end, there'll probably be nothing. Uh, we've got the, the uh, keyway upsetting it. Hold on. Virtually nothing there. Obviously, I've upset the gauge a little because the needle's over this side now, but you can see that the movement of the needle on the face still equates to less than two thousandths of an inch as does that one we we'll just get the rise and fall happening together there we are. just to confirm hopefully you can see the needles on both clots up they go down they go almost in perfect unison so that is very very good pretty unlikely to see better than that I'm very very happy with that so the next thing to do is just fit the little locking grub screw there because the crank pin nut is done up tight and then I'll weigh the whole assembly and see what it comes out at but there's a good chance that I've reduced the weight of this one by about a kilogram I would say um, and there you are, it's ready to go back into an engine that one, Asbo 32, job done.